Today, we're going to pay our respects to some of history's most mistreated people at the abandoned cemetery for the Ohio Lunatic Asylum. Welcome. This looks like maybe a Sasquatch. Yes, it's always a possibility to run into Sasquatch. I think if anybody got it, it'd be you. It's possible. This is like a very interesting place to have. Welcome, friends. My friend Kim and I are exploring a very interesting location in Columbus, Ohio today. Unfortunately, Paul, the other half of the Krishakian Alliance, <laughs> he had to work today. But uh, that's not going to stop us from checking this place out. Mm -hmm. We hear it's super haunted and it's got an interesting past. Let's see what this place is all about. It's a little hard to find, but right behind the Columbus Police Aviation Headquarters is the location of a cemetery that was a part of the Ohio Insane Asylum. The Insane Asylum has been torn down for many years, since the early 90s. But what's left are a lot of graves that many are unmarked. Some are very interesting. They're just serial numbers. Some have a name, but not many. And there's one interesting one that I want to really check out. The first hospital that was built here on this property was in 1835. It was called the Asylum. In 1877, it burnt down and killed six residents of the Asylum. Then the new hospital that took its place was moved just nearby. It was on the same property, but it was, it was close to the original foundation. And over the years, this and one other location was used for the cemeteries. Now they say that this isn't all of the uh, remains that were buried from that hospital. They're scattered about in some other places nearby, but it's unknown where. But this is uh, one of the two locations we know about where uh, those that have gone before us bravely in some very terrible conditions were laid to rest finally. Dude, that's a mistake. It needs an edit. Wow. Poor Del Ivy. The gravestones go from the oldest all the way over to the newest, the most recent. 1970s over here when the hospital was out of operation. I'm noticing some spelling errors <laughs> and uh, numbers backwards. I wonder if there's a reason for some of that. Goldie. Mother and Mary Alice. This is a very nice, probably the nicest looking grave marker in the cemetery. So Kim, what are you doing? Oh, I'm looking at every name and just giving them attention. Every single one? Yeah. Cool. Because who knows the last time they had a visitor. One slight correction. In this cemetery, there is names on every one of the gravestones. There are some that are missing dates and they're clearly misspelled. Numbers are backwards on a lot of them, but they're all marked with names so far. Kim and I are walking to the back of this property and stumbled upon this. It's a serial number for a patient. I wonder what their name was. Here's one just laying right on the edge of the cemetery. Looks like a broken one here. Yeah. Oh, there's more. Okay. There's a lot. 
Well, it turns out there is a lot of grave sites here that just were hiding underneath a lot of this grass. But something I noticed was right in front of each of these markers is an indent, like a casket size indent, nearly all over the place. You, I don't know if you can pick it up and film too much, but you can see where the, where the bodies have been laid. Over here on the very far side of the cemetery is this marker. We found some more markers. The, this whole area is filled with grave markers. You just can't really tell. These burial sites are definitely off the beaten path, but easily accessible. You can find it on Google pretty easy. I'll put a GPS coordinates below so you can locate this yourself if you wish. Next, we're gonna go over to the other cemetery. It's not too far away and pay our respects to those patients of the Ohio Insane Asylum. Stay here where you belong. Yeah, ghosts, scram. It never hurts. second location is a, a bit off course. There's no roadway that goes to it. You have to walk to it. And we think that it's, uh, there might be a pathway back there to it. Behind the dumpster. Yeah, it's behind this dumpster and way hidden back here. The directions actually told us to get on the freeway and just park on the freeway. <laughs> yeah. Find the big red dumpster 50 paces behind it. Well, two people have told us to leave the area because we're at a maximum security prison. And although I thought it was public to park there, apparently it's not. So uh, we're still in pursuit of this graveyard and it is a public space, so we should have no problem. Yeah, we, there's no, even, no, no dumpster even to go behind. Yeah, it's not behind <laughs> the dumpster. That's where we got stopped. Yeah, maybe that's good. We did find this walking path that goes really close to the grave sites, we think. Well, we found ourselves way off path. It's hard to get to this cemetery, really hard. Right by the freeway here. Looks like there were some old structures out here. This roadway. A lot of dumping going on back here. This is pretty super sketchy. Found it. Back in the 1800s and even up to the 1900s and the, I'm not sure about the 70s, what their treatment methods were, but lobotomies, lithium, and electroshock therapy were the only things that were known to alleviate the insanity of the patients. So the hospital was pretty treacherous. It was horror stories, uh, endless horror stories of how people were treated and you can tell, I mean, the gravestones just have numbers. They're just numbered people, no names. So it's pretty sad, horrific past on these grounds. But out here, very hard to get to, but very close to the freeway. is the final resting place, some of the earliest residents of the Ohio Insane Asylum. Unknown.
1848. William Mitchell. These graves are totally grown over. There's grave markers all over this overgrown field. It's just been left to left to grow over for years, it seems. Unfortunately, didn't find the grave marker that we were looking for. There's a specific one that says specimens on it. And it's a mystery what's in there. It's just believed to be body parts. But I wanted to especially find that one and pay our respects to those people, person, whoever it was. But we found some really interesting graves. In the meantime, well, the earliest one I saw was from uh, the death date was in 1845. Yeah, that's about right by the tree. A lot of unknown ones, so I took a lot of yeah. pictures of those. Oh, what an interesting place. Yeah. Not the easiest, most accessible graveyard that there is. Cemetery. If you're looking for this cemetery, look for this no dumping sign. It's on the intersection of, well, Interstate 70 and McKinley Road. Do you know this road? Harper and McKinley Road. Yeah. If you do want to come out here and pay your respects to those residents of the Ohio Insane Asylum, it seems like that is the oldest of the cemeteries, yes. and the other one was for the newer part. If you would like to do that, I'll put the GPS coordinates below in the description. And be careful. Definitely take a friend out there. It looked like there were some, possibly some people living there. A lot of trash, a lot of dumping. Trailer. Uh, there was definitely a stolen trailer. Uh, it looked like the, possibly the grounds of the old insane asylum nearby, the foundations. So a lot of space. It's very cool to check it out, but be careful. Definitely go with friends and be and safe. <laughs> That's the nicest trash I've ever seen. Right here is the intersection of McKinley and Harper. This is McKinley Road. That is Harper. And there's this parking area. Right next to that intersection, you can park your vehicle. You walk right underneath the bridge, and you'll see the entrance on your left. Well, thanks, Kim, for going out to the uh, very hard to get to, <laughs> ambiguous, insane asylum cemeteries today. My pleasure. I appreciate it. It's always fun to have a partner do this. I thought it was really cool. Huh? Yeah. A little forgotten. Yeah. Well, over. A lot cool forgotten. how it run around the tree. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah, like all the graves in the older part were circular. Circular. Those were pretty old, too. Yeah. I really enjoy walking around these cemeteries and reflecting on the lives of those gone before us, especially those that were uh, mistreated, likely. Very tough situations. It's good to remember their lives give them some credit any last thoughts kim it's cool being dead I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway, people pay attention to you <laughs>
Well, friends, thanks for Either. being here. I appreciate it. Kim appreciates it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a okay. You can do another one. <laughs> I just won't talk. <laughs> friends, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.